today we're going to be rounding to the nearest hundred in a concrete way. We have 2,363. Because we're rounding to the nearest hundred, we're looking only at our hundreds and tens. When we're rounding to the nearest hundred, it's important that we know how many hundreds we have and what the next group of 100 will be. We have three hundreds for a value of 300. Our next group of 100 will be 400. Now it's time to compare how many tens we have against our hundreds. The same rule applies as when we're rounding with tens. However, this time, because we're looking at the hundreds, if we have 50 or more, we round up, 40 or less, we round down. So that you can compare how many tens you have against the hundred, place each of the tens on top. Remember, if you have 50 or more, you can round up, and if you have 40 or less, you round down. Another good way of seeing whether you need to round up or down is looking to see if half or more of the hundred is covered. Here you can see that we need to round up because we've got six tens, which is 60. It also covers more than half of the 100. So that we can round up, we remove our tens and our ones, and we can place the 100 here. That means that 2,363 rounds up to 2,400. Let's have a look at an example where we may need to round down. We have 1,217. Because we're rounding to the hundreds place, remember, we're only looking at the numbers in the hundreds and tens. When we're rounding to the nearest hundred, it's important to know how many hundreds we have and what hundred will come next. In our number, we have two hundreds for a value of 200. The next group of 100 will be 300. Now it's time to compare our tens to our hundred. Remember, a really helpful strategy is to move our tens on top of the hundred so we can see how much space it takes up. Here I can see we only have one ten. It's less than half of our hundred, so we know that we're going to round down. Because we have only ten, we need to round down. That means that we don't need the ones, the tens, or the hundreds. So 1,217 rounds down to 1,200. So remember, when we're rounding to the nearest hundred, we're comparing the tens against a hundred. If you have 40 or less, we round down, and if you have 50 or more, we round up.